Man, if we put Jesus first, all our problems be solved. We put so much pressure on ourselves, trying to do everything ourselves, and trying to impress other people, and trying to keep up with these people, and keep up with those people, get mad at ourselves if we don't look like this person or have what this person have, and we don't know what's going on with this person's mind or body. A person can have more than you, but you may live to a thousand years old, or you may live longer than them, or you may get it later. You can't compare yourself to people you don't know what they're going through. You don't even know how happy they are to even have what they have. You don't even know if they need to be happy. To, they need to have that to be happy. We don't know nothing. We need to just be thankful that we are not in this world alone and be thankful for what we have. You know, we keep comparing ourselves to people and we're not putting God first. We put God first, we're putting love first. You put love first, love can heal your body. It put, it put supernatural energy in your cells to rejuvenate your skin, your body, your mind, your muscles. You can rejuvenate. With love, you can rejuvenate. You can really rejuvenate. Look at the, you can look at its scientific evidence and that it's been, it's been happening for a long time. So all I got to say is, we got to put Jesus first, man. We got to stop skipping from this person, that person in relationships, and stop judging people based on money and material things. We miss out so, you're missing out on so many years to love somebody because we're so concerned about what they have. Evidently, they're not concerned about how they look. They're concerned about what people have. And I think that's a shame. It's, it's, it's time to end, it's time to stop that, man. We got to learn how to love and treat each other good and give and give and give. And if we want somebody to have something, let's help them. Help them get it. If they want to be helped, help them get it. We can't change nobody, but remember that we are all flawed. We all have multiple multiple sins, hidden or unhidden. We have multiple sins, hidden or unhidden. So I'm just here to let you know, man, you put love first, you'll become a kid again. And God say, you can't enter the kingdom of God if you don't have the heart of a child, man. And Peter Pan say, if you keep that thought, you can stay young. You gotta keep your thought, man. Keep that positive energy, that positive thought. I'm telling you what I know. I'm Alan Rayner, man. Google me. Thank you for all my clients and fans and supporters. Follow me on Instagram, Alan Rayner. Press like and subscribe on this page. Check out the next video. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this topic. Go to find a good Bible-based church near your house. If you ain't got one, holler at TD Jakes or Creflo on YouTube. I love you, but Jesus love you more. I'll check y'all out on the next video. In the meantime, man, pray, pray, pray. You can't never pray enough, man. Because God will be saving you from something or protecting you from something that you never even knew was coming. God see things that we just can't see. He see things that we just can't see. You know, if something bite me on my Anyway, I love y'all, man. Holler at y'all in the comment section, man. Don't forget to pray in Jesus' name. I'm out.